Hey there, welcome to Farmcraft. I built Jeremy Schmidt's belt grinder. For those of you that aren't familiar with a belt grinder, this is uh, a very, very popular tool for knife makers to shape their knives, um, but it's also a general metalworking tool. This is the way to grind steel. Um, it's kind of odd, you know, you're using a belt, you think, how is that possibly going to grind steel? Well, these belts are made for that. Um, a lot of them are, are ceramic. It's not just aluminum oxide belts like you use for wood. And, uh, and they're impressive. And uh, I'm going to show you just how impressive they are here. So here I have a piece of 3 8 inch um, steel plate. And let's put it on our scale here. It weighs 226 grams. Let's, uh, let's see how much we can take off on this thing. So this is a Delta 1 3rd horsepower bench grinder. And uh, it's a pretty decent quality grinder. Uh, it's variable speed. I've got it turned all the way up. And that's a 60 grit wheel. It's a pretty aggressive wheel. So I'm going to grind as aggressively as I can for 30 seconds and we're going to see how much uh, I, of this steel I can take off. I'll let it get up to speed and I'm going to start this when it hits 10 seconds. There, 30 seconds of grinding. Let's see what that weighs. We got 225 grams. So 30 seconds of grinding and I took off a gram. So I've got another grinder here. This one has a 60 grit diamond wheel on it. Seems to be just a little more aggressive than the, uh, than the aluminum oxide wheel. Uh, this is also rated at third horsepower. So let's do the same thing. This metal is cooled off. I'll let it get up to speed. And again, we'll start at 10 seconds. So let's see what that weighs. 223 grams. So 30 seconds of grinding. I took off 2 grams. Now let's try the belt grinder. This is a 36 grit Cubitron belt made by 3M. After the belt grinder, 167 grams. That's a little different. With a standard aluminum oxide wheel, I did one gram in 30 seconds. With a much more expensive uh, diamond wheel, I did two grams in 30 seconds. Now, to be fair, these are both one-third horsepower grinders, and this is a two-horsepower motor. So, basically, I've got six times the power on this belt grinder. So you'd expect six times as much, right? Well, I got 56 grams. That's 28 times as much as the, uh, the other one. Not six times, 28 times. So the, the difference is night and day. These things are really, really impressive what they can take off. I don't know Jeremy Schmidt. We've never, never talked, never corresponded, but uh, he did a really good job with the plans on this thing. Uh, I was impressed with them. They were, they were very well thought out. And, you know, I, I did what it said, and first try I got a successful grinder. The cool thing about this grinder is it tilts. So you can also grind horizontally, and the table can be adjusted up and down to, to work on all the parts of the belt, depending on what you're grinding. And uh, you can use the same table regardless of what position it's tilted in. You can even grind at 45 degrees. I've been wanting a belt grinder for a long time, and I thought about building my own. I looked at, uh, you know, like buying a frame on eBay. After a lot of deliberation, I decided to buy the plans from Jeremy and, uh, and build his. Going through all this myself, doing all the troubleshooting and the sketching on the computer and everything, when it really comes down to it, 20 bucks for the plans is a deal. Um, and, and it's a really good quality grinder. I'm, I'm happy that I, that I built it. It was fun to build, too. It's fun to build with plans when you know all the details have been worked out. So what do I have in this thing? Um, about $200 worth of steel. That includes all the steel for the, for the grinder frame, the table, the, uh, the base. I just put it on a pedestal. This drive was the most expensive part. It was $350. It's a good quality drive capable of running a three horsepower motor. So if I upgrade the motor in the future, uh, this, this will be able to handle up to three. 
I got this three phase two horsepower motor on Craigslist for $40. This motor only goes to 1730 RPM, so it's actually a little slow. You'd prefer one that gets up around 3600 RPM and then use the frequency drive to slow it down. But the motor was so cheap, uh, basically, I'm going to have a higher torque, lower speed grinder with this. Um, I wasn't positive how it would work, but it's working out just fine. I also spent $140 for a set of grinder wheels uh, and maybe $30 for additional hardware in various parts. You know, I pretty much built it to his specs. Um, the only thing I, I didn't do was make wooden handles. Uh, I had some leftover bronze from some previous projects, so I made a couple of bronze handles. And the others I just used half inch bar stock and some threaded rod and welded it on uh, to make those handles. There's another one there. steel, typically a little harder to grind than, uh, than mild steel.